Well, meteorologist Amber Hardwick joining me here in the Weather Center for the continuing coverage of this line of showers and storms now beginning to really impact the northern half of the viewing area. Let's jump over to the Precision 18 radar. Multiple warnings in effect right now. In fact, the National Weather Service just issuing a severe thunderstorm warning for Pulaski County. That goes until midnight. Uh, wind gusts in excess of 60 miles per hour to dime to nickel size hail, a possibility along with this warning now in effect for Pulaski County. As we zoom a little bit further off to the west, over parts of Newton, Jasper, as well as far northern Benton County. Uh, this warning in effect as well until midnight Eastern time. This system moving southeastward around 40 miles per hour, generating winds in excess of 60 miles per hour, along, uh, along with uh, nickel to uh, quarter sized hail along with it. So we're going to be dealing with uh, Gilman, that's obviously in Illinois, but further off to the east. Kentland within the next 17 minutes catching the main brunt of the storm. Uh, Goodland as well. Remington within in the next 25 minutes. Uh, now, this system as a whole has been generating not only severe thunderstorm warnings, but tornado warnings throughout the evening as well, especially across parts of northern Illinois. Uh, and right now, there is a tornado in effect, a tornado warning, I should say, in effect for Pontiac, Illinois. Now, that's obviously far off to the west of us, but this is just the kind of situation we're dealing with. Uh, pretty significantly potent line of showers and storms right now, some of which of these storms are generating winds. Uh, in excess of 60 miles per hour. Let's bring our velocity data up right now. Um, within this system, we can see, I want to bring this up really quick here as far as winds go, 53 mile per hour wind gusts right there, 38 mile per hour wind gusts. Let's move this velocity day a little bit further off to the east. Um, another little, uh, anytime you see any bright red, bright green on your screen there, that indicates strong winds. 58 mile per hour wind gust right there. Uh, so we're going to deal with not only winds in excess of 50 miles per hour, but also uh, some isolated rotation associated with this system as well. Uh, so as the system rolls a little bit further off to the southeast, uh, on top of the warnings we're dealing with currently, uh, the National Weather Service issuing a tornado to watch in effect for the entire viewing area that goes through 5 a.m. Eastern time and on top of that that moderate risk for severe weather also continues for the entire viewing area as well so scattered showers and storms continue to pass further off to the southeast throughout the viewing area it'll sink a little bit further off to the southeast as well and as we get on the screen here I'm going to talk about pretty much exactly the movement of the system so you can see the line of showers and storms pushing southward mainly in the Newton Jasper as well as Pulaski counties as that sinks a little bit further to the south. We'll see that chance of potent severe weather for the central portions of the viewing area as well. Reaching 81 degrees earlier on, still 80 degrees right now. As that line pushes further to the south, I'd really like to see it reach Tippecanoe County by about midnight, 1230 early tomorrow. As it pushes further to the southeast, Things will begin to dry out. I'd like to see an end to this full-on severe weather event by about 4 a.m. As far as threats go, the primary threat will be wind gusts in excess of 60, possibly 70 miles per hour. Hail is large as an inch in diameter, possibly even larger than that. What we're going to be seeing as far as tornadic activity goes, the strong upper-level jet bringing that risk of severe weather across the entire viewing area and the potential of isolated tornadoes as well. Now, once we get past this system overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, things Things will dry out. We'll see calmer conditions for your Thursday, maybe a couple light lingering showers and storms early Thursday morning. Once we get towards Thursday afternoon, we'll dry out. Friday and Saturday both looking pleasant. Sunday, however, a return of scattered showers and storms. As for the storms tonight, Amber will be here with you mm -hmm. yeah, monitoring definitely. those. Yeah, so team coverage overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. It's Looking like some of these storms are beginning to intensify. There's a history of tornadic activity, especially across parts of central Illinois. It's a situation we'll continue to keep everyone up to date on, not only here on WLFI Live, but also online, WLFI.com, also on Facebook and on Twitter as well. All right. Thanks, Cameron.